gonna build up this idea of the reclining, aroused woman with the open vagina, exposed lips, and run with it. So, how do we do that? Well, we can start building up areas of form. Here's a kneecap. There's the calf muscle. There's the inner thigh. Just there. There's the other inner thigh there. Trouble is, the legs are not wide enough. Need to be spread wide open. <laughs> oh, I hope I didn't come across as an evil laugh. I think to see the outline there of the body, you need to put some black. Put some black against it. There we go. There we go. I just has this nasty fault that I'm going to come across as Bob Ross. Don't get me wrong. His uh, method of demonstration had a lot to offer. It's just that I don't think I could be seen the same content as Bob Ross. Context. Mr Newton, your lack of education is showing through. Right. Well, not yet, but there will be a stage where I'd have to change brush sizes. Shrikish. Because get all the areas covered, different parts. There we go. At this stage you don't worry about shading, it's about the marks. This is going to come across as very unprofessional but I don't worry about the direction of light. As long as the areas that I want to be in light are in light, it may not actually be correct. Can you see here? By placing the white there, that little black area now becomes the nipple area. Like in every stage of a painting I do, there's always the crazy stage where you just go, oh, nearly swore then, <laughs> I nearly swore then. You go, screw it, and just put stupid marks somewhere. Because like I said in the last little one, last little video, everything you do is undoable within art. So, that's, so there's the next brush coming through now, which is better than that one because that seems too flat, where this one is looking up. Because what we let's put that bit in there, give us some bigger legs, big strong legs, put a bit more white in there. See what I find great fun at this particular stage you don't know what she's gonna look like, do you? Thin, fat, short, tall. I don't think it matters. I mean on a personal level, beauty comes from within. 
this idolised body form that gets demonstrated in magazines and on TV. It's complete tosh. Hate it. It doesn't do human beings any justice. It's not fair. It puts too many pressure. Don't know about men, but on women, I would have thought more so. Too much pressure to conform. You know. the beauty comes from within. The sexual beauty comes from within. You know, if you're confident in your sexual um, experience, then you're confident in your sexuality and you're confident in it in that side of your life then that is your sexual um, attractiveness if you're timid and shy your sexual energy doesn't come across lost the plot there what, what I was saying because I was concentrating on this you're going to find that a lot now. The image is coming out, and already I now see certain bits that must remain that bit. That is a vagina lip and one little mark. That's cool. This mark here is like, I don't know, a raised upper body and when you raise your upper body your ribs become sort of closer to the outer skin exposed and that's like ribs in movement what do I put here I lost the face but now I've got a crazy silly area going on See, this helps to define form. Where you've got light areas, put some dark areas next to it, then you can define form. So now we've got the side of the body, just by putting the black in there. How far the body comes down depends how far you extend the black mark. You can lose part of the leg, but don't worry, because you can put that straight back in by going like this. So. Mm. The head. See that mark which was put in place to define the arm could actually now become part of the hair. It's not set in stone yet, but it's, it's a possibility. So you could put white around here now to start giving shape to the face. The face would go in that direction somewhere. 